Yeah, guys, so on our way going home. On our way going home. On our way going home, guys. And so you always pass in this, this, our uh, this clinic, and seeing the mangoes on the tree, and says, "Java, why is so much mango up on the ground?" And the body now pick them off. See? Yeah, so the clinic. I think the dental clinic. So you out here. People that might come out here and run this too, but <laughs> we don't know teeth. <laughs> we don't know. Then if I know only good mango, so one like it just dropped though. Huh? Like people that eat mango again. Yeah, see? This is even soft, you know. It's not soft. I'm not sure now, see? It's not even soft. Mango for kill. Yes, Leo? They're falling down, yes. And Suko. I'm sure the people are going. Yeah, nobody. That's on the baby one. Can the baby one? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, the mango's down. So many is down. Should I bring back? Go for your bag in the car. Look how much you have the mango in the tree. Danny, no, Danny, no green one. That's green. No green one. Only yellow one. Yeah, only yellow one you're picking. Daddy, there was a green one before. Yeah, guys. You close, hold on. Man, full of mango, I'm not going to the car. Hold on, the key. So, yeah, guys, we're just still coming from the, the caves. So, so again, so, so where the key? Hold on, I'm going to come to the key. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah. No, what is that? Come, leave that alone. Don't trouble it. Bye bye. Only Jamaica can come from people, come home, come pick up the mango. Now, where is it? I'm going to pick them one right there, sir. Here, sir. See, see, see the lady come out there. I check you. Hold this. Hold this. I'm going to pick two more before she goes. Oh, she gone. She's not saying nothing, man. She's not. She's not pressure every two mango, man. Okay. You, mango, this is. Mango, this is squeeze under my foot. Look on that one again. See? We want a good. We need a bag. See you, guys. Maybe this is the goodbye for you. I go and pick some mango. I'm going to make some mango juice and ginger and ice. Come on. What do you mango do? Oh, no, no. Make sure you're not giving a bad mango. No, no this is too soft. No, no, no. Alright, guys, I go and pick. Swaggy out here. I swaggy. I'm going to stop and come over here for them. Swaggy said, look for a mango for the ground. Swaggy said, look for <laughs> Three minutes. You know what manga sell for a roadside? Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god. So you say she's done with her swaggy? Yeah, I'm gonna make some juice. I'm also gonna make some juice. I don't know where. <laughs> so if you, if you ever try to eat up one, but I'll be helping you. Don't worry. Let's go. <laughs> Watch your food. Mango like crazy out here, man. Much, much more. Much, much, much later. Coral reef. Now, of course, you know that corals belong under the ocean, right? Yes. But that would lead me to my next question now. That would be how did these get here? So, this is not the ocean. Was this underwater at one point? Wow. Now, the ocean used to be here at one time. Now, we might be thinking now if it was just this spot. We're familiar with Blue Mountain Heat. Yes. I'm not sure if we think to the top, but at the very top of Blue Mountain, there are actually corals there. Wow. See? So what that tells us now is that it was just this spot here. Wow. Actually, all of Jamaica at one point was under the sea? Completely covered by the ocean. Wow. Is it possible for all of Jamaica to be back under the sea? Persons ask me that a lot. That is where we're coming from. Who to tell? Another to million tell? years. Who to tell? That's what's happening for well, look here, Remember? Uh-huh. Portland or Port Royal? Port Royal, sorry, Port Royal. Yeah. Port Royal, yeah, the pirates. The pirates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Careful there. Yeah, what's careful coming in. Ooh, how can I smell that? The bad poop? That poop, oh. bad poop. Oh, oh God. Okay. That bad poop. Here, I think, like a, poop pile. a big, a big poop is that bad? So this is the bad poop on the wall? I mean, a piece of tree that. This green that we're looking at? Yeah. That's copper. Copper. Oh no, missing some brown something here. So, like, no, those are actually tree, tree roots. Tree you roots. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These tree roots are here. There's another incredible tree root right here, too. It's thrown through the rocks like this. No, this 
right here is a fig tree. Fig tree. So it's more commonly known to us in Jamaica as a banyan tree. So if you remember Miss Lou, would yeah. I hear Miss Lou singing about under the banyan tree? See. Now this tree actually holds a bit of historical value to us. And a part of the reason is that a fun fact about this tree is that the roots of it can actually search up to a mile for water. Oh. So a few centuries ago, this tree would have been the means that the ancestors actually used to find drinking water. Oh, just follow the root. Just follow the root. So the roots of the, the, the end of these roots, they're always going to be at a source of water. Now we are going down these stairs in a minute or two. So it's 65 steps. So simple one, two. Are you serious? Simple one, two. We're going down them 65 steps here. We're going 40 feet down all the way to sea mm. level now. So have a look at the lake that the ancestors actually drove from. But I have another question for us. Oh. So I keep telling us that the lights we're seeing in here during those days were not in here. Mm -hmm. So all of this area would have been pitch black in here. Mm -hmm. These stairs here, we put those there too. Mm -hmm. So they would not have been there during those days. Now my question is, how would the ancestors have gotten from up here? So 40 feet down now to have a drink of water without any lights or stairs in here. I feel like you know it and I feel like you're not going to tell me a while ago, you know. Me. Perfect. <laughs> I see you look over there and I know you want to say. So they actually had to, so they follow the roots to find water. But to get from here to 40 feet down, they actually had to climb on the roots of these trees here. And come down. They had to climb down. So we are about to go down now. Luckily, we have some stairs. So they couldn't have the nickel, you call it, nickel stick fire, starch. Alright, I'm actually glad you asked me that. So in a minute, right, I'm going to tell you why they couldn't have used that torch down here. I, I, I'm already guessing because I was already thinking. Tell Can I guess? I was saying maybe the further down you're going to lack of air, the touch should have blown. Not sure. That is a part of it, but there is some air flow down there. Okay. So the main reason is that, remember, you know, the persons who are coming from the runaway phase, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't tell you how those phase got their name. Maybe you passed runaway bay on your way coming here. Yes. Now, a few centuries ago, four or five centuries ago, all of runaway bay, most of discovery bay, were thought to have been sugar plantation. Yes. So those areas would have had persons working as slaves. Now those persons they run from runaway bay, so we call it runaway bay. They hid out in those in these caves, mm -hmm. so we call these the runaway caves. So oh, that's, that's right. That's where they come from. Right. Tiny. So we see how uh, everything tying in now. Mm -hmm. So these persons would have been literally hiding from people who want them dead. Yes. So if you're in a place where it's pitch black and you have a light, that's mm. gonna draw attention to you. You're not gonna use it. You're not gonna use a light. No, oh, no, it makes sense. That's why we need to know our history, you know, man. There's so much history here. Yeah, you, you feel it though? Yeah, and it's a whole lot cooler. Like I said, it's at sea level right now. Yeah? Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel it. Man. In your cool. The one that's a dark like. Yo. Don't play around. Ooh. Here we are. Oh. I know sometimes I have to tell persons that water is actually down here you know, because it's so clear that you actually cannot see it sometimes. Yeah. Now the reason the water manages to stay so clear down here is again because of the calcium in the limestone. So it acts as a natural filter for this water. Oh. Now another part of the reason is that we have a few fish living in here. I'm trying to see a few Yeah, that's what I was trying to see if I can see any fish down here. But I don't know. I don't They're know. hiding. And here's a shrimp over here. I don't know if you can see. The light is not even. Let me see if I can see. I'm move. I'm at the edge of the rock right here. Oh, got it. The big rock? You see him? You see him? Ah, is him? I go under the rock. He got under the rock. <laughs> so tiny. So we have shrimp, yeah, crab, shrimp. and fish living in here. But as you can see, they're very hard to spot. Mm -hmm. Now there was a time, I'm not sure if you would have heard, but there was a time we used a lot of boat rides going out on this beach down here. Oh. So this barricade wasn't here. You could just step down here once upon a time and go in a boat and the boat would take you out there. So you could have a look and see what the lake was like. Mm -hmm. Now there was a very unfortunate incident now in 95 with a little girl actually losing her life down here. Oh. So what happened is that the pole went out for a few seconds. She started to panic, panic. I guess. So the boat ended up turning over. Oh. She fell in the water and she actually lost her life. So, so the water is that deep? It is actually that deep. I know it doesn't look it deep, looks but shallow. it's actually 90 feet deep. 19 feet, oh, yeah, most, most up near the wall. It's a lot deeper than it does. Let me show us something kind of cool, too. Oh, yes, sir. We see these rocks that we have coming from beneath the water right here. Mm -hmm. What if I tell you those are not there? That is just a reflection. Wait, the rocks that we see in the water? Right here. Mm. Are a reflection of the ceiling? Uh, that is a reflection of the ceiling. Those rocks are not there. But them look like. I know it looks super real. I and know it looks super real. Now, I actually want to show you what it looks like with the light off. If you think it looks incredible like this, let me not put the light off. No. But what I'm looking at, 
It is not Wait, there. These stones right here in front of me, right here, and that there. So these tiny ones that we're looking yeah. at right here, they're here. Oh, but but this there. one right here, none of these oh, are here. Oh, that big one there. Okay, not right, there, oh right? God. Imagine how deep. All right. So that gives you an idea now of just how deep it is because if you can manage to reflect all of what is being yeah, shown here. Yeah, you can reflect like a mirror like that. Now I want to show us a bit. I'm turning the lights off. Don't panic. That was me. <laughs> I want to show us what it looks like with the light off, but unfortunately, I think my light needs charging. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to see, look but I that. just want to give us an idea. Look at this. Oh, They're hiding. And here's a strip over here. Don't know if you can see. The light is not even. Let me see if I can see. It might the edge of the rock right here. Oh, I got it. The big rock? You see him? You see him? Ah, is him? I go under the rock. He got under the rock. <laughs> So tell you, so we have shrimp, yeah, crab, shrimp. and fish living in here, but as you can see, they're very hard to spot. Mm -hmm. Now there was a time, I'm not sure if you would have heard, but there was a time we used a lot of boat rides going out on this beach down here. Oh. So this barricade wasn't here, you could just step down here once upon a time and go in a boat and the boat would take you out there. So you could have a look and see what the lake was like. Mm -hmm. Now there was a very unfortunate incident now in 95 with a little girl actually losing her life down here. Oh. So what happened is that the pole went out for a few seconds. She started to panic, panic, I guess. So the boat ended up turning over. Oh. She fell in the water and she actually lost her life. So, so the water is that deep? It is actually that deep. I know it doesn't look it deep, looks but shallow. it's actually 19 feet deep. 19 feet? Oh, yeah. most, most up near the wall. It's a lot deeper than it does. Let me show something kind of cool too. Oh, yes, sir. We see these rocks that we have coming from beneath the water right here. Mm -hmm. What if I tell you those are not there? That is just a reflection. Wait, the rocks that the we rocks are in the water? Right here. A hmm. uh, reflection of the ceiling? Uh, that is a reflection of the ceiling. Those rocks are not there. But them look like... I know it looks stu super real. I and know it can... looks super real. Now, I actually want to show you what it looks like with the light off. If you think it looks incredible like this, we cannot put the light off. No. But what I'm looking at... It is not wait, there. these stones right here in front of me, right here, and that there? So these tiny ones that we're looking yeah. at right here, they're here. Oh, but, but this there. one right here, none of these oh, are here. Oh, that big one there. Okay, not there, the ceiling, oh right? Imagine how deep. All right. So that gives you an idea now of just how deep it is because if you can manage to reflect all of what is being yeah, shown here. Yeah, but you can reflect like a mirror like that. Now yeah. I want to show us a bit. I'm turning the lights off. Don't panic. That was me. <laughs> I want to show us what it looks like with the light off, but unfortunately, I think my light needs charging. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to see, but that. I just want to give us an idea. Look at this. Point. It almost looked like I could walk to show you. Mm. Now that is a story that I told us about the little girl. I actually told us that story for a reason, you know. Yeah. There's something down here that I want us to see. Now this creeped me out. Is it because I don't like to be the only one scared? Mm -hmm. I'm showing you guys. Now you remember I told you this was a little girl. Yeah. Now we're looking in this direction right here now. Hang on. Yeah. Look like a little girl. Tell me that yeah. don't look like a little girl yeah. to you. Tell me that doesn't look like a little girl. Yeah, but it look like a little girl that was somebody. All right. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I think I'm joking when I said it's no. Me no. It, it it's no joke. Nothing, you know, because we know it's just a shadow, and a shadow has to be cast from somewhere. But when I'm looking up there, I don't see any color that shadow is being cast yeah. from. So that is the spooky part of it for me. It's true. It looks like a little girl or like another little girl. Okay. Or this looks looks a bit like a dog on this side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my like god. Give like she, nice. Yes. That is too no, we take a for no, me. No, we need to take a picture. No, hold on. This alone wasn't spooky enough. In that. I have more. <laughs> I have more. We're looking in this section right now. Now let me see. Let me know if you see what looks like a scared face here. So hold on. These would be the eyes, eyes. right here. This would be like a nose. Yes. And then this is the mouth. It'd be open almost like it's screaming. screaming. <laughs> now for this place to have so much history. And then all of a sudden now, out of nowhere, I'm seeing faces and, and shadow of people in the wall. Yes. Yeah, you know what that is telling me. Yeah, yeah, who knows? It's time to go. Ooh, what we, what we need? Yeah, man. So what looks like tree roots in the ceiling, this is actually more one. So no, all of this is bad food. No, oh. you would. All of this is bad food. And then in the holes themselves, we have a lot of bad food. I'm taking the picture. Holes. This is like a little, this is like two little girl. Our, our mother and a little girl and dog. Literally. I don't know, mother. <laughs> no. And it's the whole fact that this little girl actually and this, lost look on it. her look, life look down on, here. Yeah, look on it on the phone or the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you would. Yeah, man, so I think it's time to go. It's time to go. Here, let's go, let's go, yeah, side. it's time to go. This is how the horror movie then starts. Yeah. It's we, like a creepy place where you stay. Yeah, you're going to hear so we're going to be seeing the cave.
Ooh, there's uh, some history there, but. No, please stick some right over here. Then Sorry, boy, look at you. So I think by the day, they can already guess what's happening over there. Most of the parts that live in the cave mm -hmm. actually reside just in that tiny section over there. Mm -hmm. But that's in part because it's so black over there, and you're always going to prefer the darker areas. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you guys, but I have a mini workout for you. You should be feeling it anyway. Yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my, uh, my legs are my work. So guys, you gotta, if you have some leg action in these caves, mm -hmm. you yeah, quads. Man, look at everything. everything and it's 45 minutes and it's no joke. Mm -hmm. huh? I really can hear. What a God, you didn't tell us we'd get a workout. <laughs> Yo. So hey, this direction though for some fresh air. Yeah, even the ear I get that. Yo, you can't even imagine that. Ooh. Ooh. My legs are work. Jesus. Would you stop here like a camera? Yeah, maybe we'll catch a bit. I'm supposed to fit. Fit. I'm supposed to be fit. For fit. Yeah, three legs. Hi, man. You're going to be able to exercise. No, you never tell me that because don't heal it with a cup. Normally tell the person that it's a little mini workout. Yeah, man, you don't know, feel it going down, you know. No, coming up. Coming up. Ooh. Now, while we're away in this direction, I think we might as well just keep the hearts pumping. Yeah, man, let's yeah, keep it. No mind the workout. Now, I want to tell us too. So, the stairs are actually not the only reason we're breathing this heavy. Mm -hmm. So, I told us a while ago that we've been breathing in the back poop for about five minutes straight. Mm -hmm. There's a compound in the back poop now. It's called ammonium nitrate. Mm -hmm. Now, believe that if that was more concentrated down there, mm -hmm. it could actually knock us out. Oh. Very strong. Oh, yeah. Me, Mr. Tar. You're about watching from yeah. here? Right? No, no, you're not even here, Yeah, me, because yeah. literally, that hit us on my head. Now, I already told us that we have a few bats living in here, so I'm going to give us a view of what they look like from a distance. So, we're not able to see a lot of what is going on right here. Mm -hmm. So, we're coming down a little bit further now for a closer view. Can see the bat in whatever. A closer view. Let me see. Oh, they're not uh huh. So we know that these are nocturnal creatures, so they're asleep during the day. Yeah. They're up at night for hunting food and all of that. Yeah. You no, better stay far. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and it's night. And I'm not going to leave the light here for too long. Just, I, I really don't want these guys to wake up uh -huh. at all either. Now the oh, name that we what? give to a group of bats, these ones are awake. Yeah. Now the name that we give to a group of bats clustered together like this now is a harem. Let me know if that sounds familiar. Harem. Harem. No. No. Uh -oh. What's interesting about a harem for me is that out of all the bats that can be in a very large group, there's only ever a single male. So okay. in a group of let's say thirty bats, for example, say mm -hmm. that's gonna be a ratio of twenty nine females, one male. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah that's real. Monday, Monday, boss. Uh, wow. That's the life. I need well, to be a bat. Soggy. I want. to need to be a bat. Most of bats. No, you know how they normally say that men are dogs. Yeah. So I had a lady come in here and I was telling her she said men are dogs. Me not bad. See, so, 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 I want to take notice of the colors that the walls have in here while we're walking through. Oh. So this is the normal color of the limestone right here. This off-white, almost cream-like color. Mm -hmm. So anywhere we're taking notice of this dark gray, almost blackish color, all of that is actually bat poop. Bat poop? Yep. All of that Don't touch your walls again. Bat shit, I'm sorry. Bad but like yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. I know what it's in. Yes, defecation. No, to the bat poop, no, it's guano. Guano. Guano, perfect. Almost all like calico Jamaican, we're like, guano? Guano, yeah, guano. So, so this... actually makes an excellent fertilizer, one of the very best fertilizers in Jamaica, go ahead. Oh. So that green color is the bad poop? No. Now that is actually thanks to copper being in the limestone. Copper being in the limestone. Right, so there's oh. copper in the limestone. So when it's exposed to the elements, now the wind and the rain, it starts to oxidize. Do you have crystals here? Something like crystal, oh, not yeah. exactly crystal. Uh, so mm. another example of this would be the Statue of Liberty. We notice it has that green color, so it's yeah. not actually green. It's made of copper. Oh. So because it's outside like that, it oxidizes over time, so oh. it turns green. Mm -hmm. 
No, no, I think it was just a statue of a painted green. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Now, just because we stop here, too, a few persons told me that this same rock that we're looking at right here resembles the um, Lot's wife. So that's actually a Bible story. I think she looked back and she turned to a pillar of salt. Oh, okay, I remember that, yeah. Uh huh. And I did have a group of ladies. It was all ladies in here, and I don't know, it's not my imagination. They said it looked like something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but oh, I, oh I know, yeah, 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 I know what they say. <laughs> I know what they say. So, yes, what it looks like. I know what they say, what? The big one, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it kind of look, looks like, yeah. So, I just told them that I'm not sure and I'm guessing, but yeah, I think guessing. that we belong to a black man. True, so. true. Just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, no picture by that, Saggy. Watch your head, Saggy. Watch your head, Saggy, too, yeah. Please. Even that one. Because, Saggy. Okay. Me can't pass this without two down, you know. Not yeah, anything at all. Just switch high with me a little bit. Watch me. Now, as soon as we make this corner right here, now we're coming to a stop. Somebody. We're coming to a stop right here now. So we notice that to the left of me, there's a sign over here now. It says escape route. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what we're looking at right here is the rope that the last Spanish governor actually used in 1658 to escape to Cuba. Wow. Oh. Now I want to take us over there to have a look if we're up for it. Yeah, man, I'm up for it. Alright, let's do it. Wow. Okay. We're just going to look still enough. We're not going to go to Cuba. Not going to Cuba. So what do you mean <laughs> escape? What do you mean escape to Cuba? How far does this lead? Maybe they don't have cheap. No, it's it's actually three miles. three miles. So throughout the tunnel to get to the end, it's actually three miles. Three miles? Three miles. Oh, mm. So does it lead to the sea or not? Hey, those days it would have led to the sea. Uh, so it actually came out from the tunnel. It took a boat and traveled 90 miles to Cuba. But it just sounds a lot more interesting when I say we just got through the cave yeah, and reached reach. Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now from wherever we're standing on the outside, mm-hmm. we're looking at this passageway right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But once we actually come over here, now we realize that there are one, two, three, four separate passageways over here. Yeah, four. So another yeah. part of the challenge for the governor at that time was to decide now which one of these would have been the correct passageways to take. Mm-hmm. Now I want you guys to make a guess and tell me which one of these is going to save our lives today. And this is our life. We don't know any meaning by the moon. The one with the light. I guess this one. Okay. Yeah, choose one with the light. If I three miles away, I take this one down here so because this it's one. so dark. This one in the middle. Because I think, meaning, meaning that it's dark, meaning maybe go further. So I just want to be sure. So you're going this way right here. Yeah, so you're going and she can't see the light. You're going this way right yeah, here. And I'm going in the dark here. And you're sure you definitely want to go this way right here? So. Yeah, I want to go the dark here because black that meaning... <laughs> <laughs> I actually wanted to throw him off, but this is actually the right answer. Yeah. I was trying to throw him off a little bit. Yes. Now, I know it looks very wide from where we're standing, but if you actually start to go through the now bear in mind, it's a three mile crawl in a flat on your stomach. And of course, these lights that we have back here now would not have been there during those days. Yes, yeah. it'll be extremely dark. So it's gonna be pitch black darkness. Mm-hmm. Now, put on top of that, now this is a very small tunnel. Mm-hmm. Those times, these tunnels would have been filled with snakes. Wow. And I don't even want to think of all the other creatures that might just be lurking in the yeah, darkness yeah. like this. Mm-mm. Now over here, this way that you selected, I actually don't blame you for picking the way with light. It's logical, yeah. Yeah. but it actually takes us back to where we're coming from. And that's okay. what I was thinking. Back to where we're coming. All of these. If you take anyone but the right one, this one here, you're ending up in another section of the caves here. And this one where you're again? Where this one so lead to. back in those days, it would have led to the ocean. But we've modernized everything. So what's behind here now is just the highway. Mm-hmm. And we've sealed off the exit. So if you go all the way through here now, you still won't be able to get to the outside. Okay. Oh. Right? So we're heading back over here. Yeah. I'm not. Watch your, watch your head. Oh, yeah. Thanks to him. Miss Guide, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I was coming, I was like, I wonder if Mega have an excited journey. Oh, but this is really. Man. Yeah, man, it, it, it's really. Yeah, you man, know, see it. It's yeah, such a very mystical place so far. I feel this is something where you can't watch and uh-huh. I feel you gotta come here. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie. I already feel it and we're not. Watch it, Sagi. Yeah. Right, so we just finished that green water and if you can see, sweat so nice yeah, to go. Tour. I, I was just telling the tour guide to be honest, I wasn't expecting such a, a thrilling experience because I know it was just caves and most people were like, oh, you just have to, but trust me. It's something that you have to experience. Mm-hmm. And now I'm, we're going across Ultimate Jerk. The Jerk Center is right across the road. So, yeah, yeah that's so convenient that, you know, the belly starts to roll after that 45 minute walk. Oh, yeah. Said 45 minutes? Yeah, 45 minutes I think. So, we're going to spend over there now. Yeah, guys, so we made it across the street. Wow. And, lovely. yeah, I'm going to show you the same thing, guys. I'm going to show you my plate. And it's no one's to show you the plate. 
same thing see it here it's curry goat with roti oh this look nice youth tired of rice right now so yeah. I never eat about that yet. Jerk chicken soup. Yeah, I never eat about that yet. Yeah, I'm here fish. I'm here fish soup. I'm not gonna tell you a lie. It's been a little. Jerk chicken soup. Never tried it. Yet. Later, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna. Um, you know, I'm mash, mash up my fish soup vibes. But yeah, guys, it's really. Let me say there's something about the cave. Let us give a feeling. I don't know if it's the. Oh, she said the bad poop make you kind of dizzy. It's a good experience. Can we keep faint? Can't trust me. We just feel, even though. Walking upstairs yeah. almost made me dizzy. Yeah, downstairs. Yeah, man. So if you if if you're weak in that, be careful. But strong in that, it's a good experience. And the, and and the, and the wealth and knowledge you share with us was so amazing. So yeah, guys, I go get busy with the food. Thanks again for watching. Take care. to believe it tough love you take it all leave hey guys thanks for watching the channel so remember you can get your books on amazon this is our book life with the stevens finding financial independence just search life with the stevens or era stevens and you can find my author biography on amazon as well Please check the link in the description if you are interested in booking our Airbnbs in Portmore and in Ultraviolet. So, thanks again for watching. Take care. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.